what can the central bank do to help the local banks? Um, the question there is really being effective in approving the technology strategies of the banks and helping the banks make the right technology decisions is really important. And not, I don't think the central bank can make technology decisions, but they can make sure that they give you the approval to do what you need to do fast enough. And secondly, what we've seen in many countries is the central banks raise the capital adequacy or the, capital, the minimum capital requirements, both to make sure that the people who come into the sector come in with real money, and secondly, to make sure that you don't have a lot of very tiny banks trying to compete with, with real banks, um, with, with real balance sheets. So I think those are the two measures we've seen central banks take to, to strengthen the, the sector. Just the last point on, on technology, which my colleague would also address. Um, if I'm not sure whether you had the chance to meet our head of technology consulting when he visited Ethiopia about a month ago, but he said that his experience of talking to the banks here reminded him of the banks about 15 to 20 years ago across Africa. They spent a lot of money buying a core banking system. And we all know how expensive a core banking system is. And they thought, that's it. We've done technology. That's not it. The t core banking system that you've spent the last five years fighting with is the tip of the iceberg. It's everything that goes around that and everything that the core banking system provide a promise that they can't deliver that makes the difference in the digitization journey. So um, it's not that banks here don't have access to, to these suppliers and the banks in Kenya are winning using the, the same suppliers that the international banks use. It's how all the bits and pieces that go around the, bank, the core banking system from the consumer right through to the financial, through the ERP come together that makes the difference. 